Hi guys, my name is Christian. Hopefully you are all doing well. Today we are going to take a look at yet another very nice high-end microphone and this time around it's from Chandler Limited and their RED microphone. And this is a collaboration between American-owned Chandler and from the most famous studio in the world, Abbey Road Studios. And this is probably the most interesting microphone that I tried out these last couple of months, mainly because it has an integrated tube preamp circuit built into the microphone. And this is based on the famous V72 preamp. And I don't think that I've seen any other microphone that has this kind of combination. You also get a couple of other features. So let's take a closer look at the microphone and we'll take it from there. So here we have the Chandler Red microphone and it has a couple of nice features that will allow you to change the overall voicing of the microphone. But let's start here at the top right side. There you have a basic 10 dB switch pad. And if we move over to the other side, you have the option to either use it in cardioid or omni mode. And if we take a look at the front bottom side, you have a normal and drive switch. And the drive switch will add 6 dB of gain, but also add more harmonics to the signal. And on the other side, you have a simple polarity switch. And if we move to the back side of the microphone, you have the actual preamp. And this preamp ranges from 4 to 34 dB of gain. And if we take a quick look at the power supply, you have a push-pull button called Low Cantor, which will remove a bit of the low end and also smooth out the mid-range a tiny bit. And on the same button, you have a seamless output trimmer. All right, so that was the microphone, but what about the sound? Let's jump into Pro Tools and listen to some music. Okay, so here we have the mix session and I have done a couple of different takes but the one that I'm going to display here on YouTube is the red with the cantor button pulled out. I just felt that the vocals sounded the best with this mode. But if you are interested you can download the raw files and there you'll find the red with the drive mode engaged and also with the cantor button pushed in. And these vocals are a bit rough on the edges. I did the best that I could, but I'm not completely pleased with them. I don't know if it's post COVID or if it's just me that suck. Probably the latter, but it is what it is. I also thought that I could show you what I've done in the processing chain here on, on this track. So here we have the EQ and as you can see this microphone is extremely mix ready. I've practically done nothing to the vocals, just a high pass filter and a small cut in the low end. And then you have a vocal rider just doing 2 dBs max and a CLA 76 plugin to catch some peaks. And then I used a CL1B hardware going from 2 to 5 dBs of gain reduction and then some de and then a multiband compressor to tighten things up. SSL comp mostly for the sound and then CLA vocals for some effects. So let's listen to the end result. You remember me when the west wind moves upon the fields of barley Forget the sun in his jealous sky as we walk in fields of gold. So she took her love for to gaze a while upon the fields of Bali. In his arms, she fell as a head came down. Stay with me, will you be my love? I'm on the fields of barley. We forget the sun in his jealous sky as 
will lie in fields of gold I never made promises lightly And there have been some that I broke But I swear in the days just left We'll walk in fields of gold Will you stay with me? Will you be my love upon the fields of barley? It is up she fell as her head came down among the fields of gold. I never made promises loudly. There have been some that I broke But I swear in the days just left We'll walk in fields of gold We'll just walk in fields of gold All right, so that was my example. And I have to say that this is probably the microphone that I've liked the most that I've tried these last couple of months. It's an extremely modern sounding microphone, but it doesn't suffer from sibilance. And with the Cantor button pulled out, it is extremely mix ready and you basically don't have to EQ it at all. And it just has a very nice quality to it and i think that this should be on everyone's list that are looking for a 251 style microphone or even to replace a sony 800g the only negative things that i've come up with is that the shock mount doesn't feel that high quality and that's an easy fix but i really think that chandler should look into that the other thing is that i really like to have a mount screw when you attach the cable to the microphone it does feel high quality as it is but it's just another ensurement that the cable is attached to the microphone other than that it's just about the price it's an extremely expensive microphone but you also have to take into consideration that you also get a nice tube preamp built into the microphone a v72 preamp today racked up and ready to go will probably cost you around two thousand dollars and with that the price seems to make a lot more sense all right so this is it for today's episode if you like this kind of content please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up and hopefully i'll see you guys around